Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name's Ed Hope, a junior doctor in the UK, and we're back with another rapid fight scene trauma diagnosis, patent still pending. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so I thought I'd tackle the brutal Vader scene at the end of Rogue One. Let's see what injuries he's inflicted on those poor rebel troopers. Just a couple of things. Obviously, laser blasters don't exist yet, so I'll assume they cause deep thermal injuries similar to electrical burns. And likewise, lightsabers only exist at Hacksmith Industries, so we'll assume they vaporize and cut the tissue and seal it off, cauterizing it with the heat, similar to electrosurgery and laser scalpels that we use in theater nowadays. So with those things out of the way, let's jump into it. Three, two, one, four. Two troopers down, first guy blaster injury to the right shoulder. He's pretty lucky here actually, because this hits in the region of the deltoid muscle and there's not a lot of delicate structures around here. This is actually the site that we give intramuscular injections for that very reason. Although depending on the energy, we could get tissue damage going right into the thorax. That would be a lot more serious. Most wearing would be damage to the blood supply or nerve supply to the upper limb. So we have the auxiliary artery running here and nerves, we also have the core of the brachial plexus running close to this area too. Second dude here has thermal blast injury right in the center of the chest. Clearly a thermal injury to the chest wall, so the skin, the intercostal muscles, the ribs, all of which could impact on breathing. Thermal injury much deeper, so to the lung and the heart is rarely seen in our galaxy, but can be seen with deep electrical burns, which is kind of what we're assuming here. So I would be concerned with damage to the lung, the heart and the diaphragm, all of which could be life-threatening. Force push up to the ceiling, probably no injury with this. He's very lucky he's got this helmet on actually because the shape of it looks like not only protects the head but also protects the cervical spine too. Okay, did I say he was lucky? Because <laughs> we now get a low velocity penetrating trauma from the lightsaber in the right iliac fossa. So this would have gone into his abdominal cavity and at very least causing a traumatic perforation of the bowel. So bursting the gut contents everywhere at around about the level of the iliocecal junction around about where the appendix is. Even with the cauterizing heat of the lightsaber here, we're still gonna get some of that bowel content spill over, which won't kill you straight away, but can easily lead to an overwhelming infection that can kill you in a few hours. And that's the best case scenario. The worst case scenario would be damage to the blood supply in that area. So the gut has a really good blood supply. So in that region, you have the iliocecal colic artery and the appendicular artery, but also some pretty chunky blood vessels slightly deeper called the iliac artery and vein that supply the lower limb. If they get damaged, you'd bleed out within minutes. What? Did Vader just deflect a laser blaster back with his bare hands? I've never noticed that before, but he's got robot hands, so wouldn't cause him any injury. But the result is a thermal blast injury to the left lateral chest wall for this trooper. Actually, again, not very many important structures here superficially under the armpit in this area. And that's why it's the site where we put in chest strains. But again, if that thermal injury has gone a lot deeper, like we'd see in electrical burns, then it can damage the lung, its linings, the heart, its linings, and the diaphragm too. And the heart is pretty close to the chest wall here. So any kind of deep burn injury here could easily have a direct insult in the heart and put you into a cardiac arrest. That is brutal. Sort of like <laughs> played a computer game on God mode. I'm not even sure where the impact goes here, but this just transects the whole body. He's definitely dead. But what was the actual cause of death? I think he misses his head here, mainly goes through the thorax and abdomen. But I mean, pick your injuries. You could have transection of the windpipe or the main bronchus, rupture of the ventricles of the heart or the blood vessels that come off the heart, like the aorta or the vena cava all of which would be fatal. And not forgetting the spinal cord could be transected too. If I was doing the death certificate, I would just put Vader. I have you now. I think this dude here just dies out of the way, which is clearly the best strategy if you don't want Vader on your death certificate. 
We see force choke here, although it should be called force strangulation. So a choke is where you have an obstruction within the windpipe. And I think this is very much force applied externally to the windpipe. I think Vader here probably fractures the larynx, which is a life-threatening emergency as the cartilage is key in keeping your windpipe open. So the collapse of this airway from the fracture, as well as bleeding from the injury, will start obstructing the airway. So this chap needs urgent intubation, which probably isn't gonna happen in the corridor of an invaded Corvette. This is the money shot. I think even Vader would be proud of that one. So the lightsaber will cause low velocity penetrating thermal trauma. We'd have complete transection of the spinal cord at around about T10. So he'd be less paraplegic, so losing all the nerve supply to his lower limbs. Maybe only unilateral, so maybe only on one side in a brown saccade pattern if only half of the spinal cord was ruptured. Again, really that'd be best case scenario. Worst case scenario would be rupture to the blood vessels like the inferior vena cava or the aorta that run close to the vertebral bodies of the spine. Transection of them would mean you'd lose consciousness pretty much instantly, never to wake up again. Injury to the spine and those blood vessels are really just things that are at the back of the body, but moving forward, we also have the lungs, the diaphragm, the heart, even the bowel too. So in summary, this is another insta-kill. Blaster injury to the region of the left Achilles. He has a small fall here, but assuming he's sporting the latest thermal resistant boots, I think he'll be all right. Although if that Achilles tendon is ruptured, it will need surgical repair. The last dude we see before the door closes here gets decapitated. A kind of fun fact, if someone goes into a cardiac arrest, then as medical professionals, we have to start resuscitation unless the patient has a do not resuscitate order. But there are some circumstances where we don't, or should I say we can't, and decapitation is one of them. So let's do our kill count. We have two stable, one in serious condition, four in critical condition, and three dead at the scene. And not forgetting we have one set of stolen rebel plans and another rapid fight scene. Trauma diagnosis completed by me, Doctor. Help. Thank you so much for watching. I'm working my way through the best fight scenes in the business. We've done the Captain America elevator scene, the Batman warehouse scene, scenes from the Mandalorian, V Vendetta, Watchmen. Check them out on the channel. And if there's any scenes you want me to do, leave me a comment down below and I'll check them out. If you made it this far, you should probably give this video a like and why not subscribe to our wonderful community here on YouTube. So until next time, I'll see you soon.